Hello, I'm Chris Panayodou with the Electronics Engineering Technology Department here at the College. In preparation for the Spring 2012 semester, I made this video to assist uh, all of the students who will be registering for our classes. If you are beginning your um, electronics program this uh, spring semester, the courses you should be taking are these courses which are highlighted here inside this uh, rectangle. You should be taking Intro to Electronics, DC Circuits, AC Circuits, Tech Math 1 and Principles of Physics. Those of you who are taking courses at night and going to school part-time may not uh, have time and uh, uh, the ability to take all of these courses which total to 15 credits but you may want to be taking uh, maybe two or three courses um, going to school once or twice a week. Because of the way we have our courses structured, you can take, for example, DC and AC circuits on one night um, o o a week over the semester. The first eight weeks of the semester we offer DC circuits, and the second eight weeks we offer um, this AC circuits. So AC, this is circuits the first eight weeks, AC circuits the second eight weeks. One night a week. You can also come to school uh, another night and you can knock out your Tech Math 1 class. Okay? We also have uh, this coming semester Intro to Electronics, the first eight weeks of w in one evening and then this course here, the Electronic Design Software Tools, uh, the sec second eight weeks um, on the same evening, and I believe it's Thursday night. So, for those of you who are going to school part-time at night, the best way to navigate through our courses is by consulting this chart, this flowchart that we have here uh, on this screen. So, the first course to begin with would be Intro to Electronics, would be the logical starting point. And then from Intro to Electronics you can continue into Electronic Design Software Tools, so you see the arrow here leading to this class. Or you can also continue into DC and AC Circuits class. So once you take these two classes and these two classes then you can continue on and in the, fo the following semester you can take uh, electronic devices one class and electronic devices two class. Um, the devices one class is a prerequisite to devices two class. And as you continue on, uh, if you're going part time, just follow this flowchart and make sure you are uh, checking courses uh, away from this chart as you move through. The courses with the yellow background are major core courses for the electronics program. You can see the explanation down here. These are major required courses. The courses in uh, this reddish color are general education courses and uh, you must have all of those general education courses. And then the courses in blue are typically courses offered in the second year. They are major field specialization electives. If you're going for the Robotics and Photonics uh, Institute, then you should take these um, blue courses. Now, if you are um, not really interested only in the Robotics and Photonics, but you would like to take a variety of classes so you can finish uh, in, in uh, the two-year time frame, then you can also take any one of these uh, green courses here which can be used as replacements of the specialization electives of the second year. So we have several of these courses offered. If you got this slide right now uh, in front of us shows us the program and the course offerings that we have in the evening of spring 2012 the uh, courses in uh, green uh, background are the courses that beginning students should be looking at. 
So my suggestion to you would be to start with intro to electronics. That would be Thursday night, the first eight weeks, followed by the electronic design software tools, the seg second eight weeks of Thursday night. And you can also come to school on Tuesday night and take Tech Math 1. So these three courses, coming to school twice a week, uh, that will give you a pretty good load. Now, uh, if you need to take more classes, then my suggestion is to look for uh, one or more of your general education electives, like your English, like your sociology, and uh, add that on another night. Then people who have finished the first year and they're moving into the second year, they have all of these courses which are in yellow available to them. Okay, so as you can see, we have plenty of courses. Someone can come to school on Monday nights and take uh, these two solar energy classes. The first eight week is the solar thermal. The second eight weeks is the solar PV. Uh, someone can come in on Thursday night and take A plus certification one and A plus certification two here. And um, Wednesday night we have PLCs one and PLCs two. On Wednesday night we also have communications one and communications two. So we have plenty of courses. And this was a quick uh, video just to give you an idea and help you register for the spring semester. If you have any more questions, you can email me or call me at this number and I will be happy to assist you in any way I can. If you would like to visit me, my office is in uh, the Kite Center and it's on the fourth floor room of E423. So um, I'm glad you watched this video and please uh, let me know if I can be of any assistance uh, to you. Thank you very much.